Turning now to Columbus, where the police department is currently facing a severe officer shortage. That comes on the heels of a year with 70 homicides, 63 of which were murders. 34 of those have been solved. One prominent Columbus criminal defense attorney has serious questions about the department. News 3's Chuck Williams has talked with attorney Stacey Jackson and police chief Freddie Blackman about the issues. Chuck joins us now. Teresa, as we took Stacy Jackson's concerns to Chief Blackman, we came away with a better understanding of the Columbus Police Department's staffing issues. There are currently 444 budgeted Georgia Peace Officer Standards and Training Council certified positions in the Columbus Police Department. Blackman tells News 3 there are between 120 and 130 open positions. That leaves between 310 and 320 officers on the street. A recent murder charge in which Jackson is defending a 17-year-old girl caused the attorney to question the department and its practices. Alicia Cooley was charged and arrested. In the court hearing, a detective said Cooley was believed to be the shooter from a videotape. Here's how Jackson sees the situation with the police department. That's why I say that I can't understand why in good conscience a sergeant of the police department will issue a warrant based on a belief when you have zero witnesses. I mean, maybe that's why they're 150 officers short because of, you know, because of people like that working in the department. And maybe that's why we have, you know, 70 plus murders and all these active investigations going on and, and people leaving the police department at an alarming rate. Because you don't make arrests based on beliefs, you make arrests based on evidence. Here's the response from Chief Blackman. Is the shortage impacting the, the department's ability to do its job? We have officers that are able to provide services as we always have been able to do so. We have officers that are assigned to answer calls through 911 and cover our beats. We have officers that are assigned to investigate our cases, and we will continue to do that. Teresa, Blackman has previously declined to release those staffing numbers, but he provided the data later, late this afternoon. Back to you. All right, thank you, Chuck. Since 2016, the Columbus Police Department has hired 300 new officers. During that same time period, 400 have either retired or resigned.